So I don't normally do tutorials this specific, but I literally searched across the whole internet while I was live streaming last night and I could not find this specific thing. So I'm going to show you what my settings are for live streaming in HDR in 4K with a M1 MacBook Pro Max. As it stands, I'm pretty sure that YouTube is the only platform that allows HDR live streaming. For those of you who don't know what HDR is, basically it's a way of getting truer colors in your video and your live stream. Essentially, it contains a lot more data because the camera will produce a correctly exposed version, an underexposed version, and an overexposed version, and then it will compile them all and make a truer image. It would be a lie to say I fully understand everything that I've done, but I know that I live streamed, it worked, and it looked really good, so you can just copy the settings. So I'm in OBS, you can see that I've got the picture in picture going on, and I'm going to open up my preferences. Now if you go to stream, normally when you do YouTube, you default to YouTube R TMPS and that is like usual YouTube live streaming servers but because the only one that can actually process HDR footage is YouTube HLS you need to make sure you're on that. Now you need to go to your output tab and you do need to go on the advanced or else you're not going to have these options available. Because I'm currently recording these options are all greyed out so you can't make any changes but I have got my audio encoder set to one audio AAC, my video encoder is set to Apple VT HEVC hardware encoder, my rescale output is disabled but that would like downscale it if you wanted to but mine's 4k so I don't want to do that and I want it to look 4k. My encoder settings are on CBR and the first time I did this it accidentally defaulted it had one zero less so my bitrate was 2500 kbps and you actually want 25,000 at least they recommend like double that also but it depends on your internet speed and how much you want to have your computer processing but mine's comfortable with that keyframe interval we've got two seconds and that's gonna stay there and your profile you want it on main 10 you also need to make sure you go into your advanced tab and you've got your color format as po 10 10 bit 420 two planes my color space is in rec 2100 pq color range limited. These are all the defaults down here, but you've got SDR white level 300 and then also HDR nominal peak level 1000. So I've kept those the same. If you know what you're doing with that, then you can change that. But generally speaking, leaving it the same is safe. But I've disabled my Mac OS V sync and my reset Mac OS V sync on exit. These recording settings are all default. You can leave those the same. I have chosen not to have a stream delay. It delays on itself anyway. I'm assuming that's a latency thing. I've got my automatically reconnect on in case the internet drops, but that's not to do with HDR. And that is the extent of my settings. I'm just going to show you real quick the specific specs of my Mac for anyone who's curious about what well, hardware I'm working with. A lot of people always insist that you need a capture card for live streaming. My specific camera doesn't actually require a capture card, so I have the Canon R10. I've connected it with a Thunderbolt port, a uh, micro USB to Thunderbolt, which connects to my camera, and then I also have my audio interface, which connects to my microphone, and that is how I get my sound, and I compile it all together in OBS. Those work for me. If you want to include more technology, then I'm afraid I cannot help you. <laughs> if you want to see an example of a live stream where I used all these settings, then I'll put a link in the description below, and I will also put a little button you can click around this area. Hopefully that helps you guys and please subscribe.